Find a moment. Let's go. We don't want to play soccer. Let's go. This is our house. Come on, Have fun. Come on. We've been here before. Let's go. Play Eagles on three. Let's go. One, two, three. Eagles! Far post. Head on to it and in! And FGCU takes the lead on Allie Rogers. Come on, Get up. Allie. Yeah. The way we're playing right now, we're not going to win the game. So let's focus. We got to win everything, all right? Let's go. Let's start with. We got to win the first ball. We have to start defending. Fire forward. So then everyone push up. We're two separate. The one ball beats our whole team. We got to go. Okay, hey, listen. Listen. First, remember the last time we played them? And we took our foot off the gas. So we got to be very careful with the counter attack. The big thing is when you put them under pressure and they get their head down, they don't hit the long ball. Everybody understand that? So you have to continue to press them and make them play with their head down. Floor loose. Rogers. Rogers. Allie Rogers with her second goal of the match. And that might have sewed up a, set, a third straight NCAA berth for the Eagles. The handshake's about to occur because for the third straight year, and the fifth time in six, the FGCU Eagles are soaring in women's soccer to an NCAA tournament berth. These, these moments are special in your life, so you have to make sure you respect them and enjoy them, but you also remember your season's not over. They all look forward to Gulf Coast. Oh, yeah. 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 Focus on what we do best this week. You know, really try and get into it and, and figure out where we can improve ourselves in this next week and hopefully take it to them. The freshmen don't understand, like, we're playing for something a lot bigger than just this class and just our senior class. We're also playing for the alumni and the people that built this tradition and built this program. You know, it's part of the program and why we sell it is, you know, the chance to be in, in the dance and the opportunity to play this time of year. You know, there's a lot of teams and a lot of disappointment right now going around the country of teams that kind of got left out, you know. So I feel, uh, feel fortunate to be a program that has been able to kind of punch our ticket and kind of expectation is, you know, it's, it's kind of what we as we start the season, it's kind of what we talk about.